Hey YouTube, it's Natalie at Natalie Loves Keto. Well, we got snow here in Washington State. My garden was going really good. I was really surprised. I still had carrots and broccoli and cabbage and kale going. I don't know if they'll survive this. I didn't think it was going to do it this bad. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me show you here. I have potatoes under that tarp because we've been very warm here in Federal Way, Washington, South King County, outside of Seattle. And the potatoes popped up. Everything was still growing. My tulips out front popped up. Everything. My garlic popped up. <sighs> My carrots are still going. So I want I wanted to just show you what the garden looks like before spring. Um, it's rare for us to get snow here. And my artichoke was still living. Oh, I see it. It's dead. Let's see if we can zoom in. Oh, look at it weepy. Oh, I was really surprised my artichoke never died. But it looks like it's dying now. Let's go look. I put wood chips down here and I put wood chips on top of my bed. I do the back to Eden garden method. It's best for organic garden. Gives your vegetables you eat more nutrients. It's very, very healthy for you and so easy to maintain. It keeps weeds away. Who wouldn't want to do that? But look at my sad artichoke. Oh man, that sucks. He kind of got wilty. He's frozen solid, I'm sure. Let's see. It's cold out here. No, no, not really. But in the middle there, right there, still living. So I'll just wind up cutting the rust off that died. And I'm sure it'll come back and give me beautiful artichokes. I bought it last year. It's the only thing, really, I didn't start from seed. Otherwise, I do everything from seed. Um, and it did beautiful and produced artichokes first year. And it was actually that size when I bought it, just that one leaf. So over here in my little four by four bed, let's see, do we have to zoom out? No. Okay. Over here in my 40, four by four bed, I have broccoli, kale, and cabbage. And my husband told me to cover it, and I didn't think it was going to get that bad, so I didn't. And look what happened. Don't do this. That's a broccoli plant right there. Looking frozen and sad. But you know what? They might come back. They might. I think the kale will. Here's the kale right here. I think the kale's going to come back. These are cold weather vegetables, but... We got like in the teens, so yeah, they didn't like it that much. They're just all wilty over here. And these little tiny things sticking out of the snow right here are cabbage. Yeah, I don't know if they'll survive that one. I did try to save this broccoli plant right here. Let's see, I put it after it had snow on it and after the big frost I put this potato pot on top of it let's see well a little wilty but see it was already starting to produce broccoli in January now it's February but look it's producing broccoli this is Italian heirloom organic variety I don't remember the exact brand. I think that one's going to survive. Look my lavenders. See all this from seed. If you're a gardener, you know how hard it is to do lavender from seed. But I succeeded. And let's hope they survive. <laughs> I think they will. There's an onion that was coming up. That a squirrel must have buried. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. So over here is oregano. I left that going. Started from seed last year. Let's see if I can get it. Right there. And uh, 
I think it'll survive. I might have to cut off some dead, but we'll survive. It'll be good. And right here is all my carrots. My husband's been eating them. Eating off of them. They were doing fine. They're little baby carrots, but they've been growing through the winter. And they say when you grow it in the winter or in the cold weather, they're sweeter. And it's true, he says. I'm on keto, so I didn't try it. I hope you don't get triggered by the word carrot. <laughs> I mean, it's like sugar to us right now, right? Well, we'll see what happens. They can tolerate cold. Um, but we're getting some cold weather in. I'm shocked. I hope we don't become like the East Coast. I feel it for you guys out there. All right, and over here is, I just planted probably like 40 garlic bulbs in this little two by three bed. And uh, see, there was one that's already popped up. Now the snow right there, I think they'll be fine. I have them covered in wood chips, keeps them warm. And my peach tree, I don't know, that might make it weird when you're watching it but there's my peach tree so that's a little garden tour of the beds i have i do have a pot garden up here not pot as in marijuana <laughs> pots as in pots you put plants in garden up here that's really sad and i just kind of let go and there's strawberries and cayenne and peppers i do tomatoes up there that big tall thing is a pineapple sage i went crazy had purple flowers on it, but it looks like the, the snow killed it. There's peas over there in that orange bucket. Looks like the they're fine. Peas like the snow. They can tolerate it. We're not in the negatives. So, and I have blueberry plants. And I got my rosemary over here. And I, you know, it's fine. It'll survive it. There's a strawberry plant in there. You see it? Right there. It was starting to sprout and grow. I'm sure it'll come back. Strawberry's fine. Cut off the dead, they'll grow. As long as the crown doesn't die. And over there I have a bunch of blueberry bushes. And over here I have blueberry bushes and pots. And more artichokes. And there was sage over there, but I don't think that survived. Anyways, this is my little winter garden tour. Let's see. Get it full here. Here's all the pot garden that I just kind of let go to crap. Eh, shouldn't have done that. A windstorm came, blew pots over. <laughs> there's thyme right there on its side. I got to pick that up. And there's peas and there's that pineapple sage. And it was beautiful green until the snow hit it. And look at it. Ew. So I'll cut that all down and I'll regrow. My peas are... Yeah. No. Peas did not do well. So we'll take all this out when I can. There's some parsley right in here. I'm sure that parsley's fine. But here we go. Not to get you all dizzy. A little panorama. The wheelbarrow's in the way. I got a 2 by 3 bed right there. That is a four by eight bed right here. This is a five, di five by 10 bed right here. And behind the L bed right here is a four by four. And then I got this L bed, it's about two feet wide. And I don't know how many feet long. Um, if I had a guess, it's probably 10 total with the L. Well, here's four foot come over another three that's seven plus another three yeah i say about 10 maybe 12 in all probably and that's it oh i got black raspberries back there and raspberries or blackberries back there and a ton of strawberries over here under my japanese maple um on the on the slope right here is a ton of strawberries. So, if you want to see this in the spring when I get it going and make it beautiful, stay tuned, subscribe, like my videos, and bye YouTube!